Hi everyone, it's Tatiana from Tatiana's Everyday Food and welcome back to my kitchen. So today I'm gonna to be sharing with you guys this fantastic Ferrero Rocher cake recipe. And this is something that's been requested on my YouTube channel so many times, so I'm really happy I finally get a chance to share it with you. So we're gonna be making chocolate hazelnut layers with hazelnut flour, and then we're gonna finish the cake off with Nutella buttercream, and we're gonna uh, fill the inside with crispy waffle cookies. So this cake is absolutely amazing, and you guys are gonna love the recipe. I'm gonna start with my dry ingredients first. So I'm gonna place one cup of hazelnuts into my food processor. Next, I'm gonna add 1 4th cup of confectioner's sugar. I'm gonna add 1 4th cup of uh, cocoa powder, and this is unsweetened dark chocolate cocoa powder. I'm gonna add 1 4th cup of all-purpose flour. We're gonna add two teaspoons of baking powder. And we're gonna add 1 18th teaspoon of salt. So just sprinkle that on top. So I'm gonna cover my food processor and give this a mix until the mixture resembles fine crumbs. So I'm gonna place my hazelnut flour into a small bowl. I'm gonna set this aside and we're gonna go to our next step. I'm gonna melt one and three fourths cup of unsweetened chocolate chips. This is about eight ounces and I'm using uh, these today. They're Ghirardelli Better Sweet Chocolate Chips. And I love this brand. It's always uh, great for baking, but you can use any brand. And I'm gonna use a microwave today. I think it's just faster and easier. You can always use a double boiler also. I've melted my chocolate completely and you want it to be nice and smooth. And now I can add my Nutella. So I have half a cup of Nutella. I'm gonna add it right into my warm chocolate. And then just mix everything together until uh, the chocolate and Nutella is well combined. And we're gonna set it aside. Next, I'm gonna place one cup of butter and I've softened this at room temperature. I'm gonna place this into my mixer and I'm gonna whisk it until it's really light and fluffy. I'm also gonna add half a cup of white granulated sugar. So this just takes a couple minutes. To my butter, I'm gonna add two tablespoons of frangelico. So frangelico is a hazelnut liqueur. It's pretty sweet, and it's gonna add lots of hazelnut flavor to our cake. Now I'm also gonna add my seven egg yolks. So I separated my eggs. We're gonna mix in our egg whites later, but for now we're just gonna add our egg yolks into the butter. This step, you should have a really nice and creamy mixture. And now we can add our chocolate and hazelnut flour. So I'm gonna pour all of my chocolate right into my butter here. And this looks so good. And I'm gonna add in my hazelnut flour. So I like to mix this in by hand, just so that I don't over mix it. And just take a spatula and work everything together until you have a nice and smooth batter. For this next step, I've transferred my chocolate batter into a separate bowl, and I've washed my mixer bowl until it's really nice and clean. Next, I'm gonna add my seven egg whites into my mixer bowl. And I'm gonna whisk these on high speed until I have stiff peaks. I have my egg whites whisked, and now I can start adding my chocolate batter. So I'm gonna add a little bit at a time, and you wanna fold it in very, very gently with your spatula. So this is gonna take just a few minutes, but you wanna work slowly so that the egg whites stay as fluffy as possible. You wanna fold the cake batter gently until it's well combined, and when you start out mixing this, it might look a little clumpy, a little funny, but it should come together very nicely. So now I'm ready to pour it into my cake pans. So I have two eight inch cake pans and I've lined it with parchment paper and I've sprayed the sides with some nonstick spray. So I'm gonna divide the cake batter evenly between the two pans. And I have my oven preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. So I'm gonna bake these until the center is completely done. And you can always check by just inserting a toothpick into the center. And now for my buttercream. So I'm gonna uh, combine together two cups or four sticks of butter. I'm gonna place it into my mixer bowl here. I'm gonna add one cup of Nutella to this and then half a teaspoon of salt, which is gonna give a little bit more flavor. Now I'm gonna add my confectioner sugar. So today I'm gonna to add two cups. And I like to add about one cup at a time and just whisk it in after each addition. Once you take your cake layers out of the oven, you wanna let them cool completely and then split them in half so we have a total of four layers. I poured some frangelico liqueur into a dispenser bottle. I'm gonna use this to soak my cake layers very lightly. And now I'm gonna to top it with my frosting. So I'm gonna put a generous amount of frosting for each cake layer. I'm gonna use a flat spatula and just spread it evenly to the edges. I'm 
Next, I'm gonna be adding these crushed cookies. So I picked these butter waffle cookies up at Trader Joe's and I just crushed them into smaller bits and this is gonna add a little crunch effect to our cake. So I'm gonna sprinkle some little pieces in between each layer here. And I'm gonna repeat the exact same thing for my next layers. And now I'm gonna to top this off with my last cake layer. Perfect, now we could frost the top and the sides. I'm just going around the edges of the cake here and cleaning everything up before I add my final garnish on the top. So I'm just placing these completely random across the top. I'm just adding these hazelnuts on the top in between these candies here, just for a little bit extra garnish. Once you put your cake all together, you wanna to store it in the refrigerator. If you make it a day ahead of time, just take it out about an hour before serving so that buttercream can soften up a little bit. So now it's time to give it a try. And it looks so good. Mmm. This is so, so good. You guys are gonna absolutely love this. Just all the texture and flavor combinations in this cake are out of this world. You get the crunchy uh, waffle cookies and they taste just like the outside of the Ferrero Rocher candies. And then that hazelnut lick here really gives it this awesome hazelnut flavor. And then the buttercream, everything just combined together tastes absolutely delicious. You guys are gonna love this cake. It's perfect for birthdays, anniversaries, special dinners. If you need a special cake, this is the cake recipe for you. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video recipe. Don't forget to share it with your family and friends. And then I also create pin boards for Pinterest. So if you log in and you find me online, share it and pin it to all of your boards as well. So hope to see you guys next time.